Today, the engine is more powerful, but manufacturing has remained unchanged. It's made from 3,550 individual components, which are milled, ground, cast, and forged in Cosworth's Northampton factory. And all the parts are hand-finished. These gears will form part of the camshaft drive. Final assembly of the engine is unchanged too. George Duckett built the very first Cosworth for Lotus. This latest is for Williams, and the main tools of the trade are still the knowing eye and finger, and a mental note of the myriad little parts that make the engine go. I think you, you think of numbers the whole time because you, you pick up five bearings and you, you know that they've got to the number from one to five. Um, you know there's ten washers, so you always pick up ten washers. And if you take them off, you, you know that uh, you've got to have ten washers there when you pick them up again. Otherwise, someone, one of them might be inside the engine. That's the way I do it anyway. Often only two weeks between races. Although the teams have got more than one engine per car, uh, quite often they do need their engines rather quickly. They come in after a race and they want them for the next race. But uh, that isn't really enough time. It takes between five and six working days to completely strip and rebuild an engine. You can't really do it any quicker. There's, if you hurry, you always do things wrong. Actually, what I'm doing now is feel. You can feel it going down. It's, you can't describe something like that, really. You don't know what experience you've got until you start doing it, until you start thinking about it. At least I don't. These crucial little nuts and bolts hold together some staggering dynamic forces 